Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captain is 123 and today we will be working on subtracting whole numbers with and without regrouping. Subtraction is taking away a smaller number away from a bigger number. We also call subtraction take away or minusing and this is the sign for subtraction. Subtracting without regrouping means that all the digits at the top are bigger than those at the bottom. Today, we are going to look at subtraction sums using our place value charts. When we are subtracting in our place value charts, we always start with our ones column first and then work our way up to the larger value columns, meaning the tenth column or hundredth column. Let's do our first example. 9,876 take away 6,724 is equal to what? Let's put our number sentence into our place value chart and start to subtract from our ones column first. 6 take away 4 is equal to 2. So we put 2 in our total space in our ones column. Now we move on to our tens column where we have 7 subtract 2 which is equal to 5. So we put 5 in our total space in our tens column. Next we move on to our hundreds column where we have 8 take away 7 which is equal to 1. So we put 1 in our total space in our hundreds column. But then we have a fourth number, a thousand column. So we have nine take away six, which gives us three. And we put three in our total space in our thousands column. Well done. So now we know that our answer for 9,876 subtract 6,724 is equal to 3,152. Let's do some subtraction with regrouping now. Subtraction with regrouping means that some digits at the top are smaller than those at the bottom. When this happens, we need to borrow from the digit to the left until all the numbers are subtracted. Our first example question. 9,371 subtract 5,724. Let's put our number sentence into our place value chart and start to subtract from our ones column. In our ones column, we have one subtract four. 1 is smaller than 4. This means that we need to borrow from the tens column. We will be borrowing 1 10 from the 7 in the tens column. And that would make it 6. And when we add 1 10 to the 1 in the 1's column, it becomes 11. So now we have 11 minus 4, which is equal to 7. In our tens column, we now have 6 minus 2 which can be done because two is smaller than six and that answer is four. Let's move on over to our hundreds column. Three cannot take away seven because three is less than seven. So this means that we have to borrow one from the column to the left, which is the thousands column. The three then becomes 13 because 1000 is actually 10 hundreds. Now we have 13 take away seven, which is equal to six. And for our last column, the thousands column, we have eight. Since we borrowed one from it, it's no longer nine. Eight take away five is equal to three. So our final answer for 9,371 subtract 5,724 is 3,647. For our next question, let's try a word problem. Mary had $2,358 in her savings. If she bought a pair of shoes for $235, how can we find out how much money Mary has left in her savings? Well, for this question, we have to subtract our smaller number from our bigger number. Our number sentence would be $2,358 take away $235. Let's place our numbers into the place value chart with our bigger number on top and begin our subtraction. In our ones column, we have 8 subtract 5, which is equal to 3. So 3 goes under the ones column in our total space. 5 take away 3 are the numbers of concern in our tens column. This is equal to 2. So 2 goes in our total space under the tens column. In our hundreds column, we have 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. So 1 goes under the hundreds column in the total space. There is nothing to subtract in the thousands column, so the 2 is simply brought down to our answer section. Fantastic job on subtraction. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pinnacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.